Hi, this is Alicia from Behind the White Picket Fence, and today I'm here to do my January book haul. Uh, I have a lot of books today, so I'm just going to get started. First book I have is At Home by the Sea by Christina Skye. I have Demon Angel by Melgene Brooke, and this is a book that I've been wanting to buy for a really long time, but haven't been able to because... I didn't really want to pay $7.99 for a book that's been out forever, so I am super excited about this because I found it for $1.99 at Goodwill, so. Next book I have is The Perfect Match by Kimberly Cates and Twilight Hunter by Kate Ballinger. And this book just came out, so I'm kind of surprised that I found this at Goodwill for 99 cents. <laughs> I also got another book in the Sherilyn Kenyon's Dark Hunter series, and this one is Retribution. And I am in love with this entire series, and it's one of those series that I'm kind of like putting off reading because it's got like all my perfect elements in it, uh, paranormal, um, gods and goddesses, and... It's just awesome. <laughs> I got the third book in the Succubus Diaries series by Jill Miles, and it's My Fair Succubi. I also got the um, next three books in the Psy Changeling series by Nalina si Nalini Singh, and they are Visions of Heat, Caressed by Ice, and Mind to Possess. And of course, I'm always excited to own another Sherilyn, or Carolyn Sparks book, and this one is The Vampire and the Virgin. I then picked up a book by an author that I've never read, but I have a couple on my uh, to-be-read shelf. And this is um, Truly Madly Yours by Rachel Gibson. And I just really liked the cover, and the back sounds really interesting, so uh, I want to get to this one soon. I've been in a contemporary romance kick for a little while, and... Hopefully, I'll have the time to get to this one as well, because I'm just really excited about reading contemporaries right now. And then I got um, a sci-fi fantasy, uh, urban fantasy book, and it is Hounded by Kevin Hearney. And um, I got this mainly because the back sounded really interesting, Um and the fact that the main character is a guy. And I haven't read very many books with guys as a main character, so I wanted to give this one a try as well. And then I got another book in Brenda Novak's Whiskey Creek series, and that is Take Me Home for Christmas. Next book I have is The Sweethearts Knitting Club by Lori Wilde. And I've really liked these covers, and I really want to read the whole series, so I got Susan Mallory's Two of a Kind. I also got a book that I normally wouldn't go for, because... I don't know, it just doesn't seem like something that I would read, and that is Cutting Loose by Susan Anderson, and basically I got this because it sounded really interesting, and I like when a character is uptight, and um, when they find love, they figure out how to let loose, so that's kind of the whole point of the title. But I've been trying to read things that I wouldn't normally read, because I want to like widen my in, uh, interests. I got the second book in a series that I started in 2013, and that is The Dark One series by Katie McAllister. And excuse my dog barking in the background. Um, I had book three, but not book two, and I really wanted to continue with the series, so I got Sex, Lies, and Vampires by Katie McAllister. So got the second book in a series. And um, I've tried to read it before, and I did previously own this book before I moved to where I'm at now. And uh, really loved the first book. It was amazing, and then I couldn't get into the second one. So now I'm giving it another try, and that's Moon's Web by C.T. Adams and Kathy Clamp. And I love this series because it has so many different like types of shifters and stuff in it. Like, there's one shifter in this book that I remember that is a snake. So, I'm, I mean, I always love to read about different shifters, because I think that's probably the thing that I like to read the most about in Paranormal Romance. Now moving on to some books that I got at Fred Meyer's for the buy two, get two free, or something like that. Buy three, get one free. I don't remember. 
but it was a sweet deal, and so I got Just One Night by uh, Kira Davis, and this is um, all three books in her Just One Night series. I also got Tempting the Billionaire by Jessica Lemon, Before and Ever Since by Sharla Lovelace. Last one I got out of that Fred Meyer deal is Heart of Stone by Christine Warren, and I am really excited about this one. Uh, he is a gargoyle, and I mean, I've never read anything with gargoyles in it before. I mean, other than Kim Harrison, but I'm really excited about this one. It sounds awesome, and I would recommend it to anyone, because, you know, it's awesome. Next books are all books that I've bought over on Amazon with my gift card that I got for Christmas, and I'll just get into those as well. Um, Cloud Waltzer by Tori Cates, Cowboy Seeks Bride by Carolyn Brown, and I got this one because, um, it sounds amazing. She is a city girl that comes to the country to film a reality show, I believe, and, um, is not prepared for anything on the farm, and I think it sounds really sweet and awesome. Then I pre-ordered a book from Amazon that came out a couple days after I pre-ordered, and it is Loving Kara by Kristen Proby, and this is one of the books that I added to my most anticipated reads of 2014, and I'm so excited to have this now. It's just as amazing as I thought it would be. Uh, I love the cover, and it just, I can't wait to read it. Then I also had a book on my most anticipated 2014 list that was um, the third book in uh, Kat Johnson's Oklahoma Nights series, and I didn't have the first two and hadn't read the first two, so I went and had, went ahead and bought both of those. And they are One Night with a Cowboy by Cat Johnson and Two Times as Hot by Cat Johnson. And they both look amazing and I can't wait to read them. Uh, who doesn't love a cowboy on the cover and all that manliness right there? <laughs> but yeah. I'm super excited about these, and um, if you have read any of these books that I've showed so far, or any of the ones I'm going to show you next, um, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you thought. And then I bought a book, which was kind of the start to this whole landslide of buying books this month, and that is Illicit by Opal Carew, and this one sounds amazing. Uh, this is a book about um, a woman that receives an invitation to play out her most illicit fantasies, uh, sexual fantasies, I believe, and um, she thinks it's her friend that's playing a joke on her, but really it turns out to be a stranger, or not such a stranger, I'm not really sure, but I think it sounds amazing, and I can't wait to read it. I got a book that I expected to be like the size of this book, and um, I was really shocked to find out that it's this huge and really thick. Uh, I believe it has, it has 579 pages. Wow. I really wasn't expecting it to be this big, but I'm glad it is because I do like reading big books and um, there comes a time where I just need to read something that's huge and I can't wait to get to that point with this. And, well, we are getting down to the bottom of the stack, but there's still quite a few left. Um, the next one is... Angel of Darkness by Cynthia Eden, and I do have um, Avenging Angel by her, just it's an art copy. But I've really wanted to read this series, and I found this at Goodwill. It, the only problem is it has uh, like a stain, a Sharpie stain or something on the first few pages. But um, it doesn't cover up any of the text, so I mean, who cares? <laughs> then I got A Mermaid's Ransom by Joey W. Hill. And then I got Dance of the Seven Veils by Chris Anson, and I have no idea what this is about. I know that it's an erotic romance from Alora's Cave, and I'm very intrigued by this. Uh, I've never heard of it, and I like to try new things, so yeah. And also, I got Sweet Fantasy by Janice Maynard, and I expected this to be like a single book because it's kind of small. Um, but it turns out that it's three books in one, Sweet Seduction, um, Sweet Surrender, and Sweet Revenge. So, 
I'm excited to see where this goes, and the only thing I have to say about this is I was taking the sticker off the back and it ripped the back. <sighs> Why do they have to make those stickers so hard to get off? Oh, it ruins it, sort of, a little. <laughs> Got a young adult book, and I've been trying to cut back on the young adult because I don't really like the genre, but this one sounds awesome, and it's Raised by Wolves by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And it ripped the cover a little bit, too, when I took the sticker off as well. But anyways, I think it looks amazing and sounds amazing, and I can't wait to read it. After um, buying all these other books and whatever, I've been kind of in the mood to read more of a chiclet type book. So I got two, and the first one is Walking Back to Happiness by Lucy Dillon and... I think this sounds amazing. It's about a dog walker, and she finds love, and she is with animals, so, I mean, it's the perfect fit for me. And then I also got A Winter's Wedding by Sharon Owens, and it's kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can, you can see that. Probably not. But uh, it's got sparkly finish on it, and it looks amazing, and it says wedding in the title, so that might be something I'm interested in. Who knows? We'll see. I went to a chat on nightowlreviews.com and actually won a book, which was pretty awesome. I haven't won a book from them in a while, and I got to choose a book from the pers the author's um, selection of published works, and I got The Big Book of Bondage by Allison Tyler. And this is Sexy Tales of Erotic Restraint, and I've been a big fan of bondage sex scenes and stuff like that for a while now, probably since I joined NOR, and so yeah, I'm super excited about this, it looks amazing, and hopefully that will be some pretty cool and um, interesting sex scenes in this. Okay, so I thought we were getting to the end, but I found some others that I'm going to show you as well. Um, so I had four left on the stack that I was working on, and then I found five others. So it's going to be a little bit while longer, but who cares? You guys love looking at books, so we'll just dive right into those as well. <laughs> then after me and my sister went out to dinner, um, we went over to this huge Barnes & Noble, and I bought four books because she had spent some money somewhere else, and we were trying to make it even and whatever. So I got Game On by Nancy Warren. It Had to Be You by Jill Shalvis. Rule by Jay Crownover. And I got Finding It by Cora Carmack. And I can't wait to read this one. I'm loving all the books in this series so far. And I can't wait to read the ebooks as well. Um, this, the only thing I have to say about this is I think adding those reviews to the bottom of the cover is a little bit tacky. Uh, Usually a book just has like a little blurb of a review somewhere on the cover. I don't like this. The All the other books look like, um, look like this. And I would have much rather preferred to have another person be down here instead of them together. But, you know, oh well. I am going to have to deal with it. I'm still going to want to read this book, so I'll have to get over the cover. And these next five last books are um, all books that I got from Night Owl Reviews to read and review for them. Um, I got Sylvia Day's Spellbound, and I really expected this to be like the same size as all her other books, but it's teeny, really teeny. That's my finger, and it's it's smaller than my finger. But then I got an art copy of Some Like It Wild by M. Layton, and... I have the first one, and I'm going to read that one as well, and I'm super excited to read both of these. I'm hoping maybe I can, um, like, marathon this and the other one and really enjoy it as much as I think I will. Then I got a book that I'm really excited about, and that is Wanted by Jay Kenner, and I've heard a lot of good things about this, actually, and um, I have her other series... Um, the Release Me series. I'm not really sure if that's the title of the series or not, but I'm excited about this, and it kind of has a twist, this book, 
when you flip it over, the back is bright pink. Uh, kind of hurts my eyes a little bit, but yeah, the spine's pretty pink too. It's the same as the back, but the cover is so, like, plain, and then you flip it around and kapow! Pink. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this, and when I review it, I'll let you guys know, and I'll post the link in a video or even do a video review of this, and yeah. got another book in Lori Wilde's um, Cupid Texas series, and it is Somebody to Love by Lori Wilde, and I got this before it was published, I believe, um, but still haven't read it, because I've been reading other things, but um, I'm still very excited to have this, and I can't wait to read it. And Avon is one of my favorite publishers, so I'm probably going to love this book just as much as I've loved all their other books that they've had out. Ah, oh, finally, down to the last book, and it is Shoreline Drive by Lily Everett, and this is an advanced reading copy as well, and um, it's the second book in the Sanctuary Island series, and it looks really small, but the pages are really compact. And I am really excited to read this. Um, the woman in this is pregnant, and I have a thing for reading books with women that are pregnant or with just babies in the storyline, so I am going to love this no matter what. Let me know down below if you have read any of these that I've showed you. You might have forgotten them all already, but um, if there are any that stood out to you that you'd want to read... Uh, I'd love to hear about it, and yeah, thank you for watching. Happy reading. Bye!